Hey everyone, I just finished reading Power Rangers Universe number one, and I have no idea what is going on in this at all. Like, I don't follow the main comics, so maybe something there explains what's going on here a little better, but, like, I was led to believe this was going to be about the origin of the Phantom Ranger, and, uh, like, I guess it's sort of in there? Um... Yeah, I don't know what to say about this. This was just weird, and, like, not weird in a good way. And it wasn't even, like, a mess in a fun way, like the, uh, Draken New Dawn comic was, where there's, like, a whole team of, like, young blood rangers, and it's just ridiculous 90s stupidity at its stupidest. Then there's this, and this is just, like, uh, I'll, I'm gonna... Okay, uh, there's the first page. Oh, and let me talk about the, uh... The white Phantom Ranger suit, I don't care for it. I remember when they first put out images of the white Phantom Ranger suit, I was like, oh, okay, this is like a different Ranger, or it's like he has a different form for, or something. I never really liked the design. Like, I don't know what it is. It just looks so wrong, the Phantom Ranger suit being white. Although, like, I can definitely see that working for Hasbro, uh... All, they just put out a Phantom Ranger toy. All they needed to do was just paint it white and gold, and there it is. There's the a Morphinaut suit, is what they call it. Um, okay, so, synopsis. This thing starts with the white Phantom Ranger, whose name I don't even know. He's with some woman who I also don't know who it is. Uh, Shendel? Or Chendel? Something? She has weird crescent moon glasses. Mm. So anyway, uh, she, she's helping White Phantom Ranger with this weird archway thing. Um, it makes some noises. He wants to go in there and ascend. Whatever that means. It's a thing later in the comic. I don't know what ascension or ascending whatever means. And okay, whatever. So anyway, he goes inside the archway thing, and he's in the Morphin Grid. Alright. Anyway, he sees this amazing thing full of power, and he's like, it could power worlds. And then, uh, let's see, something happens. He sees this big face, which I guess is supposed to be Dark Spectre. Although a big floating face in the sky makes me think more Lokar than Dark Spectre, but... I don't know, was Soul the Dragon still canon to the Boom comics? So, they kind of already shot themselves in the foot with Lokar. He's just some dude sitting in a chair in another dimension. Like Palpatine and Rise of Skywalker. And he's about as useful. And, um... Blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, uh, the Dark Spectre face, whatever, traps White Phantom Ranger in the thing. The archway blows up. Chendal's like, oh no. And then we cut to... 584 years later. They could have just said hundreds of years later or centuries later, but no, they had to be very specific. It's 584 years later. Alright. Does it... Did it matter? Did it really matter to know down to the year? I'm surprised it didn't say like 584 years five months, 14 days. Like, are their years even the same as Earth years? Or is this going to be like some humong humongous retcon where it turned out... <laughs> Excuse me. The... I don't know, the world the Phantom Ranger came from... What was the name of his planet? I don't think they ever say it in the show. I know there's like a fan name for it or something. Oh, and then also Countdown to Destruction, Divatox or Astronoma says, the home of the Phantom Ranger. And it shows a Phantom Ranger fighting with, um... Or... Was he by himself? Now I don't remember if he was by himself or not, fighting off a bunch of bad guys. But yeah, apparently he had his own home planet. Is that gonna turn out to be Earth? Or something? That wouldn't make any sense. Whatever. On with the bizarre, weird story. We're introduced to a bunch of people in white outfits that extremely vaguely... Resemble the Ninjetti outfits, kind of. 
Uh, there's a guy in a with a beard and little glasses telling some girl, or maybe it's a dude, I don't know, that uh, the Ascension has been moved up, and they have to get here before night and ascend, whatever that is, and... Uh, yeah, so anyway, there's a... And she's playing with some Beyblades or something? Scree. Uh, oh, and then there's a Dammit. There's a lot of Dammits in here for some reason for a Power Ranger comic. Uh, I don't have time to replace the something. Uh, disappointment. Master Forge Olympus Planet 0117A47 Galaxy. Was that an actual place in Mighty Morphin? I know Zordon threw around a lot of names of planets and places. Like, um... I can't remember the names of any off the top of my head. And also SPD did that a few times. So anyway, then we see the beardy guy and some woman with like a Bajoran earring. Except instead of the loop going to her ear, it loops around to her nose. So it's a Bajoran nose ring, I guess. Anyway, they talk for a while and I have no idea what they're talking about. Like, I guess... Oh, and then the the kid characters talk. This one guy has a pet dinosaur. Um, then there's some old woman cleaning stuff. And even though they're aliens, they live in, like, a pretty normal-looking house. At least on the outside, it looks normal. Uh, kids come over. I don't know what is going on in this thing. Uh, there's a character named Zev. Where is he? Where's Ori, the the girl guy, whoever from earlier, I think. Uh, oh, and then there's somewhere else. Totally subtle entrance to Frontier Lab slash super secret hangout. Oh, they're trying to be charming now. Okay. And then, um... Okay, now Ori's... All the kids are there, I think. I think they're kids. I, I don't know. Um, uh, oh, okay. The kids stumble on uh, the White Phantom Rangers, like, archway entrance to um, to the Morphin Grid, I, I think. I think it's the same one. I don't know. Don't ask me. And then uh, some girl talks about... Morphin energy. I even experimented with our morphin hearts. Morphin hearts? What? Is that like Raggedy Ann's candy heart? <laughs> okay, um... I have no idea what's going on. Um, oh, they turn on like a TV or something. Shows them a bunch of stuff of a planet being attacked by uh, this big thing that kind of looks like if Merriman's fire went out. Oh, and he has little fin ears, so I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Dark Spectre. But it changes from panel to panel. Just a few panels later, he has, like, a couple more eyes, and he doesn't have the fin ears anymore. I guess he killed a bunch of people, because the kids are all standing there looking at, shocked, saying, They didn't have a chance! See, then there's some noises. Um, I... Oh, okay, so I guess Zev died when Dark Spectre Monster attacked Halak, or Halach, or whatever the name of the planet was. Okay, then we got a... Like, I think there's a, a thing, come like a big planet thing, attacking a, a couple of lights. I don't know what it is. What is this thing? Is this a planet, or is it like a couple of lights? Is it the planet, or is it the big moon thing from Majora's Mask or something? About to crash on their planet. Anyway, the beardy guy comes back. And then the kids talk to him. And he's like, How do you know? Surely you didn't turn on that TV that's right over where you came from. It doesn't look like they ran far. Okay, anyway. Um, oh, wait. Are they back in that room? W where the TV... What is going on in this? I don't know what's going on in this comic. I don't know who these characters are, I don't know what they're doing, I don't know why anything is happening. Anyway, uh, the White Phantom Ranger comes back, and they call him the Morphinaut. Okay. And then, um... He's coming. 
From where? He's already there. What's going on? What's happening? It's hurting him. Grid energy. Um, I'm so lost. Why would someone be coming out of the grid? Maybe because of that? And then there's like a bunch of things and then someone makes a dumb face. And then um, there's Dark Spectre, Lokar face, uh, making click, click, click noises. Uh, and to keep that out, to be continued, um... What was any of this? This was... This is a Power Ranger comic. This is a Power Ranger comic where the only Power Rangers anything that happens is they use the word morph and morphin a few times. And grid energy. I'm really, really hoping that all this is stuff that, like, ties in to the deep lore of the, like, main Boom comics. Because if it doesn't, and it's another thing, like, crap, what's his name? Tyler, the Foot Clan soldier who was Tommy's best buddy, apparently, that we never freaking heard of before and he's suddenly a major character in that Ninja Turtles crossover they did. Is this another situation like that, where it's like a really specific thing that they act like we're supposed to know, even though it doesn't tie in with frickin' anything? Like, seriously, what in the world was any of this? There's no Power Rangers in this Power Ranger comic, aside from the white Phantom Ranger, who doesn't do anything. He goes into a thing, he gets stuck there, uh, apparently Dark Spectre, according to this, came out of the Morphin Grid. Oh, and they also act like that Dark Spectre is like a hugely important bad guy, even though in the show he kind of goes out like a punk. Let's see, Malagor is like a baby version of him, and like, I don't know, I guess maybe he could be dangerous if he like actually learned how to reason. Dark Spectre... He didn't really he wasn't really strong himself. If you watch in space, most of like his power is basically just clout. Like everyone else just assumes he's really powerful. Then Darkonda, spoilers, drives a spaceship into his mouth and he blows up. Um anyway, uh, this was a thing. I don't know why it's a thing. I did they expect people like just get this for the variant covers and not actually read the comic inside? Because that would explain a lot. It would explain why there's like just a ton of just nothing dialogue between these nothing characters. Like, I don't know, are these supposed to be the Morphin Masters or something? Like, because there's five of them? Like, they're not even color-coded, really, are they? Oh, they all have different color hair, I guess. So anyway, yeah, there's this thing, it's, uh, I don't know, if you'll like the Power Ranger comic, maybe you'll be into this, like, especially if you enjoy the, the more original stuff they do that doesn't tie in with Power Rangers at all, in this Power Rangers comic. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's, whatever that was, um, kind of at a loss for words here, so, uh, say ya.